This is no ordinary SUV. The 2020 Explorer ST. And wow, uh, this is going to really blow your socks off when you get out on the road and find out just how much performance Ford put into this vehicle. Uh, all new from the ground up. You know, it's a, a mid-sized family SUV. Yes, and for those times when you really want to have some fun, <laughs> yeah, three liter V6 twin turbo EcoBoost. Right. With a whopping 400 horsepower. 415 pound-feet of torque. That's right. So now we've paired that to a 10-speed automatic transmission. You do have the option for the paddle shifter, so if you want to have that sporty drive, throw it into sport drive mode, and now it's a game changer. It's This is my first time in the driver's seat. I haven't driven this vehicle before. And as you can see, I got a grin on my face. It it's, feels nimble, it's doesn't it? fun to drive, For yeah. For a big vehicle, it already has that sporty, smaller SUV type feel. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, you would not think that you're driving a three row SUV. Not at all. No. So you got the kids, you got the dog or the cat or whatever you're gonna bring along with you for camping or for hiking or fishing or all those adventures you're gonna go on and just have an absolute blast. Absolutely. Yeah. So the the engine is is a, just a fantastic motor again. We've, we've really put everything into that uh, to get the best performance out of the vehicle with a top track speed of 143 miles per hour. Um, zero to 60, five and a half seconds. Five seconds. Unbelievable. So, you know, just take it to the next level in the Explorer ST. So, now the model that we're in doesn't have all of the goodies, but it does have quite a few uh, nice features. So, let's eliminate right off the bat the street performance pack, which was not on this vehicle, which would add the performance brakes and the wheels. Uh, the 21 inch wheels. Right? right. Those nice black painted wheels. Yeah. But still, nonetheless, it has a beautiful look to the vehicle. It stands out, starting in the front with the painted ebony, ebony black grill, um, with the ST badging. Right, ST badging all over this thing, from mm -hmm. the seats, the yep. back, the front. Yeah, on the steering wheel, we've got the ST badge, that nice embroidery in the, in the seat here. Yeah. And then um, around the back, you can tell it's got that performance because of the quad exhaust. Yes, you definitely, looking at the back of this thing, you know you're driving a performance vehicle. Exactly, and everybody else on the road is gonna know it, right? Of course. Beautiful sound that's piped into the vehicle as well, that exhaust note um, on, the, on the outside as well. And it just stands out from the crowd of it. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's great, it's... <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> it's incredible. Like, uh, we would expect that from an SUV. It's an Explorer, for crying out loud. No, and, and the, the nimble feeling that you get is yeah. unbelievable, too. The feeling in your in the steering. It, yeah. Um, again, you know, power is power. We've driven a lot of vehicles with a lot of power. Mm -hmm. But when you're driving this big of a vehicle, you don't expect it to be as nimble as it is. Oh. And the other thing that's new for 2020 is rear-wheel drive platform. Right. Right, so we're back to rear-wheel drive, um, and it's gonna transfer that torque to the front wheels as it's needed because all explorers in Canada are all-wheel drive. Right. Okay, yeah. so we're on the drive, and it's, you know, depending on what we're doing with the vehicle or the season more particular, we've got these different drive modes, starting yes. with uh, normal, so flipping over, you can see we have a normal mode, so everyday type of driving, and it's gonna automatically adjust those parameters for the traction control, the throttle response, and the way the suspension feels. Right. Uh, we've got sport mode. What's that gonna give me? Well, I mean, it's gonna hold those shifts, uh, higher performance, keep the revs up higher. Yep. Um, you can truly feel it. A little more responsiveness in the gas pedal. Yeah, very, very responsive. That throttle is right there right now. Yeah, and, and like I said, we had it in sport mode there, and you can feel it. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, it is. So we can switch it over from normal to sport mode and over to tow haul mode. And tow haul mode is going to give you that capability for towing, you know, the lighter type of uh, trailer, such as up to, what, 5,600 pounds. 5,600 pounds. Right. Go camping. The boat. All the weekend trailer around, pick yep. up some supplies. Exactly. You're able to do that. Exactly. 
So depending on, again, your driving style, you can select the drive mode that's right for you. If the conditions are slippery, there's that mode as well. It says slippery. <laughs> right. It's going to help with your traction in the wintertime. Mm -hmm. Very important in Alberta. Yeah. That instrument cluster, 12.3 inches across. Yeah. Well, what I really like, if you slip it into eco mode, mm -hmm. this is go. actually going to give you some driving tips as well. Ah, yes. And that's going to help benefit your fuel fuel mileage. Mm -hmm. So if you want to maximize your fuel efficiency, right, you can monitor that. Yeah. And I love the way the the screen changes depending on the mode that you're in as well. Yes. Uh, that sport mode with the, the red and the dials and the, oh, instantly I could feel it there. It's it switches over. You know it. Yeah. Yeah. You're probably going to be in sport mode most of the time. I know I would be. It's hard not to be. It is, right? <laughs> Seats feel pretty good. Yeah, they're really decent, actually. The bolstering isn't as aggressive as it probably could be for a sport-type utility, but you know what? It's all about the comfort as well. Right. So you'll find that it's nice and cushy, good bolstering, and the climate control is fully tri-zoned, so we've got three rows of seating so everyone can be comfortable. And then there's also the heated and the cooled seats. Right. So yeah, get comfortable, comfortable in the seat. Uh, we have the power assist. We got the power uh, telescopic steering. Yeah, on the side here, I've got everything Tilt adjusted. As well. Heated steering wheel. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, we have all of the power equipment group for the windows and the mirrors. Speaking of which, the mirrors, when you lock your vehicle up, they automatically tuck in. Yes. And great for parking situations. Ford has put every possible technology feature into this as standard equipment on the ST, starting with, uh, we've got blind spot information system. Right, we've got adaptive cruise control. Betcha, lane keeping. Lane keeping. Mm -hmm. There's active park assist, you know, for yes. parallel parking or perpendicular parking. Right. Uh, reverse camera. Plus, for the ST, the 360 camera. Yes, I love that feature. It gives you that top-down view so you can see any object that might be around your vehicle while you're trying to park. Exactly. So eliminate all that possibility of you, you know, maybe striking an object or someone. Yeah, parking garages, things like that. Makes it really handy. Yeah. Plenty of room inside the Explorer as well with these three rows of seating. Um, you've got all the cargo room in the rear here. We've got the power tail lift gate so you can from the key fob, you can open that up really easily. Right. And then the rear seats fold down with power. Right. And then the middle row, we can fold that down as well to give you that extended cargo room if you needed it. Right. Otherwise, you've got room for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven passengers. Seven passengers. Yeah. Take everybody along. Yeah. One of the options on this particular model that you can get is the rear DVD entertainment system. Right. So, um, you know, mind you, everyone's probably got an iPad or something like that. By the way, speaking of iPad, <laughs> look at this. Big screen. 10.1 inch LCD center stack screen. You know, it instantly reminds me, it's bigger obviously, but it reminds me of a phone, right? You get that vertical layout. Yeah. Huge map here when we're in the navigation. I'm kind of getting comfortable with it. It's now, you know, that we've been in it for a little while here. It's not really that intrusive you know, it's not really in your face. It just becomes part of the vehicle and the navigation map is huge with a really nice quick pinch to zoom on there. It's it's like using your phone, right? And we've become so accustomed to that. You're yeah. getting the same kind of view here. Yeah, exactly. And then you've got your phone there, you've got audio, you've got your home. Um, all of the controls for the climate are just below that. Right. Um, in the center stack here, we have access to the USB ports for a smartphone for charging with Apple Play, CarPlay, exactly. and yeah. Android Auto. Right. And then new for the uh, 2020 Explorer here is the rotary dial. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, rotary dial. Um, same system that's on the Ford GT. Yeah. So performance-wise, that's always nice. Mm -hmm. um, wireless charging pad. There you go. So there's now if you have that places, feature on your phone. Exactly. There's a lot of places to put your phone, whether it be in the, the, the front console here, mm -hmm. um, charging. There's obviously space with cords to come out. Yep. One in front of the cup holder. Yeah, we got a decent sized center uh, console storage compartment here as well with an auxiliary outlet that you can uh, hook up stuff to. Right. Otherwise, it makes a really nice armrest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, overall, you know, there's a really nice positive feeling here with uh, the Explorer as a passenger. I'm, I love it. It's, it's, there's plenty of room. The visibility around is fantastic. Great visibility driving. Yep. I like the light from the moonroof. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is an option, the uh, the twin panel moonroof. It does have, if you like, 
we can close that off. So if the sunlight is uh, too bright for your liking, right? You know, you can just uh, close the sunscreen there. Yeah, I like the light it brings in, especially with those rear seats, though. Mm hmm Yeah, it's not bad at all. And then if you want to open up the, the the sunroof, you know, you can definitely do that as well. So, all in all, I'm impressed. I mean, this this was truly the first time I've been in the driver's seat, mm -hmm. and. Uh, it's not going to be the last time, that's for sure. No. This is, this is a vehicle you'd like to take on a road trip and really get a feel for it. Yes. How that is. I love the, the B&O audio play system. Yes. I love vehicle. that audio system with speakers mm -hmm. in the doors. Yep. Um, all over the place. Mm -hmm. So come and check it out at the dealership. We're going to make a stop and uh, go through and show you just how roomy it is uh, for the back seats and how you can quickly configure those and just give you an idea of what you can expect when it comes to passenger and cargo volume and that sort of thing. Front seating wise, you've got all the power adjustments and uh, there is an option for massaging front seats. Yes. The, the multi-contour seats that give you that, uh, oh, nice massage. I just turned mine on. <laughs> there you go. So, um, boy, it, it, it really does feel good. We're gonna jump into the back here and just show you just how roomy it is. Let's go. So we've got, uh, as we said, the tri-zone climate control. So we have our own controls for the middle, for the rear seat to here. Right, heated heated outboard seats. Mm -hmm. um, this one has a bench, which yeah. is actually the option. It is an option. Normally it comes with the captain seats, right? Right, yeah. So yeah, you've got the bench, little armrest here that pulls out with the uh, three seat belts for the rear. Two cup holders there. Mm -hmm. We've got two cup holders in each door as well. There you go. An upper one and a lower one as well. More than enough places to put all the beverages that you're going to need for, this, for the entire beverages. crew. Right? Now, how's the leg room here? I was more than comfortable in the back and I've got a good three, you know, about four inches. You've got more room. Tons of room. Um, so yeah, USB ports. USB charging. LED lighting. Above head vents. Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. This is extremely comfortable. Oh. Uh, Sunshades. Sun yes. So the rear windows, that standard is the rear sunshades. Right. Great for the kids. Great for the kids. I've got a young one myself. You got to get those sticky things that go on the exactly. window. Exactly. This is nice and clean. You can't yep. lose it. Mm -hmm. Well, it works perfect. It's great. And then the, the handles on either side make it easy to get in and out of as well. Yeah. So what's the rear look like? So the rear seats are really easy to fold down. Just right. simply pull the lever on the side and they move forward allowing us to get into the back. I'm gonna bring that back so I wanna see what that looks like. It's a third row. It's doable, especially for uh, the little ones. Yeah, for kids, for extra passengers, it, you know, it's just fine. Yeah. The fact that both of us are actually sitting back here. With some leg room. <laughs> yeah, I, that I it mean, can, it can be done. It can be done. Yeah. Yeah, so if you wanted to bring the whole crew along, you could certainly do that. Absolutely. Yeah. And there's our seat belts here. We've got the cup holders in the side doors. There are cargo clips I can notice. Yeah. Uh, rear vents for heating and cooling. There it is. We've barely scratched the surface of all of the features that you can get on an Explorer ST. That comes standard. Absolute pleasure to drive this vehicle. Yeah. So much fun. Right. The first ST Explorer. You've got to test drive it for yourself, guys. Come down to the dealership here in Sherwood Park at 2540 Broadmoor Boulevard or pick up the phone and give us a call at 780-449-3673. We'd love to show it to you. We've got some really friendly and helpful product specialists who have been trained specifically on this vehicle and they would love to show it to you and have you experience it for yourself. So thanks very much for joining us on the virtual test drive. Have a giant day. See you soon.